Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo, and this Office Mix, we're going to be talking about the DHIS2 dashboard. This is the overview of our curriculum for DHIS2, which we've been developing at Logical Outcomes, and it's based on the DHIS2 Academy workshops listed on the left-hand side of your screen. In this video, we're going to be looking at dashboards. So the required readings for this video are chapter nine from the dashboard, or chapter nine from the user manual, I should say, dashboards, and chapter 16 from the implementation guide. So the dashboard app, what is it? This is, um, this is really where you're going to be living uh, largely within DHIS2. Uh, the dashboard pulls in uh, your charts and your pivot tables that you've built or that you've uh, been given or shared. Uh, from other users, and this is where you're going to have your overview of all of the data that you're looking at in DHIS2. So, uh, most basically, it's the thing that you first see when you sign into DHIS2, and most importantly, it's where you're going to have your collection of uh, data uh, for different uh, projects when you're in DHIS2. Um, so, it's the fastest way to view all of your data. From here, you can uh, pull out or look at different types of data. And of course, you can have lots of different collections of charts based on uh, projects. So you can have things that you're monitoring. This is a great thing for uh, managers uh, to be working uh, and looking at. If they don't want to spend a lot of time in DHIS2, they can just be looking at the dashboard at charts and tables that have been pre-created for them to just monitor. Um, so uh, we're not going to spend too much time because uh, the we have a video about pivot tables. We also have a video about um, the data visualizer app, and uh, you can read about uh, the dashboard and and the specifics of what you can do within it uh, in the user manual. And also um, what we're going to show next, which is just a little vi video of myself kind of running you through how to uh, work the dashboard and what it looks like. This is an example of the dashboard in DHIS2. You'll be able to find that wherever you are when you click Apps and Dashboard. Now, this dashboard is on this tab right here. And as you can see, you can have multiple dashboards for each user. These dashboards can be created only by some users and shared by some users, and then accessible for either different users or entire user groups like Teams that might be working on a specific project. Now, the data in the dashboards is slightly interactive. So if you just hover over any of the data, you can see a clearer uh, indication of what it is. Or you can select or unselect specific pieces of data so you can get a different view of what you're looking at. I can also change the size of any of these. And in a pivot table, I can choose to reorganize the data in greatest to smallest or smallest to greatest, also with the totals. Now, the interface is quite changeable, so I can just drag and drop to move any of these in a different order, depending on what I see is the most important chart that I want to look at first. As well, I can create a new dashboard by clicking Add. If I have permissions, I can manage it by adding or removing, or I can share the dashboard that I've currently created if I have permission. I can also look for specific charts or pivot tables within the search bar menu here, and then click on any of these to go to the data visualization or pivot table app. Finally, if I click on messages, this is where I'll reach my inbox and where I'll be able to write messages to other users or user groups or write feedback to any of the admin. So that's it for now. Uh, this was a short video, definitely, but I uh, hope useful. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can find more, of, more information about Logical Outcomes at logicaloutcomes.net, or you can reach me directly at nicholas at logicaloutcomes.net.